assalamu alaikum, peace be unto you all. Those of faith, those of no faith, those who have doubts and one thing we cannot have doubts about is who we are as a people. I am a Muslim and I represent formerly of Masjid in Northwest London Acton, but we approach our things from the point of view from what Malcolm X said, which is you're not being arrested, you're not being discriminated against because you're Muslim. You're not being discriminated against or arrested because you're Christian. Basically it's happening. Do I need to tell you why it's happening? We know why it's happening. And for this reason, our similarities have to be the focus here tonight and henceforth. I think I'm not here to say much because I'm just the people are getting warmed up for the fashion show. I'm basically here to say, as a people, we're not taken seriously because we're disunited. The focus of the discussion tonight is about unity. We are easy to pick off one by one because we're not united. Like this, we can break them individually. If we make a fist, it's harder for them to break us. So we have to focus. We will have differences. There are no people on earth more different than Africans. And that is the beauty of being African or being black. Our, the, the continent of Africa, where we came from, is sufficiently vast and varied in terms of topography and geography and the political economy and ethnic types. So Africa is a continent of peoples. And we, the Caribbean people, are a product. We are all the stories. We are all the, the ethnic groups squeezed into one. Transatlantic slavery made that so. And what we have to understand is perhaps we, placed in this part of the world, are strategically located to do the job of the unity that the motherland needs and deserves. Yes, sir. Now, I believe that as a people, we have to recognize that mistakes have been made in the past and we learn history not only to discover where our strengths were, but to be honest and find out where our weaknesses were. And to a large extent, some of our weaknesses were because of disunity, focusing too much on the differences. Right? Now, I always believed you cannot wish differences away. You can't pretend they're not there. If a man believes in Rastafari, that's what he believes in. If a man believes in Islam, that's what he believes in. If a man believes Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that's what he or she believes in. Right? But what we have to understand, what underpins all of this, is the origin. It's common origin. It's common source. If you believe in Ora Obatala or Lodumare, if you believe in that, there is a common source, and that common source is the motherland. Now, I am asking our people here tonight to focus on their similarities and not their differences. Once we present a united front, one thing you learn about this country is that the British public is very concerned about what the world thinks of them. You've got to play with that. The Jews know how to play with it. They know how to play with it. They're very concerned about their public image in the world because Britannia no longer rules the waves. So what we have to do, just like there are other lobbies, and I mentioned one just now, we have to present a lobby. But we can't present a lobby of one tiny splinter group. All these groups have to come together and realize whether we're talking, like a couple weeks ago we marched for reparations. Whether it's about reparations, whether it's about the... the the proliferation of guns in our community and drugs in our community. Once we act in concert as one group, irrespective of gender or religion, I think we are on the beginning to be making what we'll be making, which is effective change. Thank you all very much. Peace be unto you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa to see more videos like this, subscribe to Titans TV down below. Thanks. Because we've had members of the Rasta community. We've had members from the Christian community. We have had members from the Pan-Africanist community speak really before 
the minister's representative has spoken. And this is to show you that the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is not a man who's denominational. He's not a man where, when he speaks to you, he desires to convert you to what he is. He's a man who desires to set you and I free from the bondage and the stench of white supremacy.